Folks are pedaling hard toward a showdown in a pristine area of Dothan. The issue is when a bike is a bike and when a bike isn't. Here's News 4's Ken Curtis now to explain the battle caught in spinning spokes. Ken, what can you tell us? Well, Kinsley, they are coming on strong. A new wave of outdoor exercise, health benefits, and a great way to weave through the woods. After that, I was hooked. Richard Schneider got hooked on e-bikes. <laughs> Blame his boss, who uses one in his remarkable recovery from a heart attack. This is a pedal assist bicycle. No pedal, no go. It does not have a throttle. It does not go on its own. The only other power comes from a tiny electric motor that gives e-bikers a nudge over challenging terrain. E-bikes are as quiet as a butterfly, easing through a gentle breeze. There's no e-bike policy for forever wild trails because e-bikes weren't a thing when the policies were made. At Dothan Trails, e-bikes are a no-no. No motorized vehicles. They blame one woman. Allison Hall, as far as I can tell, that's that's what it is. Allison Hall and her city recreation department oversee Forever Wild. We go by the rules and regulations provided to us from Forever Wild. Rules that no motorized vehicles. Every, every other major trail system in this state allows e-bikes. And this email makes e-bikes permissible at all state parks. The state of Alabama has spoken. Spoken, perhaps. But spoken to whom? Well, Forever Wild is not a state park. It's a different piece of property. Now, despite rules forbidding the e-bikes, uh, those riders frequent forever wild anyway. Holly admits she lacks staff to go out there and actually police those rules. And Kinsley, I'll tell you this, anybody who thinks the e-bike does all the work for you, I took a ride the other day, and at the end of it, well, <laughs> you kind of get the idea. Ken Curtis, interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much.